Hi there, my name is Fallout, and this is how to beat Encounter 1 in the new Garden of Salvation raid. Please consider subscribing if you find this guide helpful, or if you just like the sound of my voice. I won't tell anyone. Begin the encounter not by killing the Minotaur that the boss is nomming on. Instead, launch it by standing near this Vex cube and shooting it. This will activate a chain of light that will come from the cube that you can link throughout your fire team all the way to this nearby blue energy wall, which will dissolve. My raid team beat the first encounter by breaking into two teams of three, which I will name Team A and Team B. Original, I know. Team A stays outside to fight ads and prevent the Vex boss from murdering the entire fire team, and Team B goes through the door that you just dissolved into the area that we will call Room 2 to kill all the Vex in there. Team A is outside with the big boy boss, like I told you, and they have two objectives right off the bat stay alive, and also prevent the boss from wiping the entire fire team. You see, every now and then, the boss will spit out a glowing white cube onto the ground. That is a wipe mechanic. Someone on your team needs to run through that white cube in a few seconds after it gets spat up on the ground, or your entire fire team dies, and you have to start the entire encounter over. Once you run through that little cube, you prevent your team from dying, and you'll also have a timer on your screen called Voltaic Overflow, which lasts for 2 minutes and 30 seconds. Now what that means is that for 2 minutes and 30 seconds, you cannot prevent the wipe mechanic from happening again, meaning someone else on your team is going to have to run through the very next cube that gets vomited up onto the ground. Eventually, all three members of Team A are going to touch the white cube that has been spat up onto the ground to prevent the wipe mechanic. Once the second member of Team A grabs the wipe mechanic off the ground, the first member of Team A, who grabbed the very first wipe mechanic, should run inside to join Team B in Room 2. More on that in a minute. So now Team A should have just two members outside killing the Vex, and when the final member of Team A has run through the wipe mechanic, they should both head inside together to join Team B in room two. Now, meanwhile, this entire time, Team B has been inside room two, killing all of the Vex. Once all the Vex in the room have been eliminated, an angelic Hydra will appear, which also needs to be killed. When the angelic is dead, Team B has to look for another one of those floating cubes in the air. You know, like the one you linked together with to launch the encounter back at the beginning. When they find it, like the beginning of the encounter, you have to shoot it to activate it, then link the beam of light all the way to the blue wall slash door in order to unlock it. Now remember when I said that the first member of Team A, after collecting the white mechanic, should eventually head inside to help Team B. Here is the reason why. It takes a few guardians to extend the beam of light from the cube all the way to the door, so having that fourth guardian really helps the process along. If you see the light in the chain turn red, don't panic. You aren't breaking the chain if the light is red. It just means that you can't stretch the light any further. Trust me on that, I'm right. I won a $10 bet against my friend Joey. Suck it, Joey. So, once Team B unlocks that door, it turns into a game of leapfrog between the two teams. Team B stays where they are in room 2 to clear more trash enemies that spawn when the door unlocks, while Team A, coming in from the outside, passes by Team B and heads into room 3 to do the same thing. Destroy all the Vex, spawn an Angelic Hydra, kill it, and then find the Vex cube, which you will then shoot and link to the door in order to open up access to room 4. Be warned though, the Vex cube in room 3, when it spawns, it will not appear in a very obvious place for you to find right away. You gotta look around a little bit. Sometimes it's out in the open around to the left side of the door, but sometimes it's hanging off the side of the cliff on the right hand side. Just know it's never going to spawn away too far from the door itself. While that is happening, the Vex boss from the beginning will slowly follow your team just one room behind, meaning Team B is dealing with with the boss right now back in room two, all of them taking turns absorbing its glowing cubes it's barfing up, aka the wipe mechanic, one at a time. Remember, you gotta swap who in the fire team picks up the wipe mechanic because of the cooldown timer. When team A unlocks the blue door to room four, it's a game of leapfrog once again. Team B advances forward past team A and charges into room four to do the exact same thing. Team A stays where they are in room three to kill trash vet 
Vex and prevent the boss from wiping the entire team. In the fourth room, though, there are three Vex cubes that you'll need to activate, one for each of the three locks on the final blue door. So one last time, kill all the Vex in room four, spawn the Angelic Hydra, kill that, and then work as quickly as you can to shoot one cube at a time and link the beam of light all the way to the door. If at any point either team is having trouble linking the light from the cube to the door with just three fire team members, do what you did before. Have one member of the other team come forward after after they've collected a puked up boss wipe mechanic, of course, to help the other team link the beam of light a little further and open the door. When the three locks are gone, both team A and team B reunite and head through the final door together. Here's where things get a little crazy. There are a bunch of cyclopses out here, raining down purple death upon you. You have to run past them to get to the end of the meadow, but still, while doing so, you also have to keep picking up the white mechanic cubes that the boss is still puking up onto the ground. Remember, if you don't pick those up, it's encounter over. So be sure you're calling out to your teammates which members can and can't pick up those cubes. Because remember, if you have the two minute 30 second cooldown timer, you can't pick up another cube. Now, while you're doing this, you can fight back the Cyclopses and try to kill them if you want, but remember that you gotta move quickly in order to prevent the boss from killing everyone. So while you can fight back, you don't have unlimited time. Reach the end of the meadow, spawn that loot chest, and encounter one over. Easy peasy. I'll have the other guides on the rest of the Garden of Salvation raid out soon, so keep your eyes peeled and click subscribe to make sure you don't miss them. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.